Okay, so it's Ben Bernanke, ignorant or complicit. I mean, this guy's pretty smart, so how could he have got these things so, so wrong? And alternatively, why does the Austrian School of Economics, which I subscribe to and also Peter Schiff, got all these things right? I mean, come on. Uh, ben, there's been a lot of talk about a housing bubble, particularly you know, from the Fed, from all sorts of, of uh, uh, different places. Can you give us your view as to whether or not there is a housing bubble out there? Well, unquestionably, housing prices are up quite a bit. I think it's important to note that uh, fundamentals are also very strong. We've got a, a growing economy, uh, jobs, incomes. We've got very low mortgage rates. Uh, we've got uh, demographics uh, supporting uh, housing uh, growth. We've got uh, restricted supply in some places. So it's certainly understandable that the prices would go up, would go up some. Um, I, I don't know whether prices are exactly where they should be, but I, I think it's uh, fair to say that uh, much of what's happened is supported by the strength of the economy. Tell me, what is the worst case scenario? So we have so many economists coming on our air and saying, oh, this is a bubble and it's going to burst and this is going to be a real issue for the economy. Some say it could even cause a recession at some point. What is the worst case scenario if, in fact, we were to see prices come down substantially across the country? Well, I, I guess I don't buy your premise. It's a pretty unlikely possibility. We've never had a decline in house prices on a nationwide, bu nationwide basis. So what I think is more likely is that the house prices will slow, maybe stabilize, might slow consumption spending a bit. I don't think it's going to drive the economy too far from its full employment path, though. So would you agree with Alan Greenspan's comments recently that we've got some areas of the country that are seeing froth, not necessarily a national situation, but certainly froth in some areas? You, you can see some types of, air, uh, some types of speculation, investors uh, turning over condos quickly. So those sorts of things you see in some local areas. Um, I'm hopeful that, and I'm confident, in fact, that the uh, bank regulators will, will pay close attention to the kinds of loans that are being made, making sure that underwriting is done right. Um, but I, I do think that this is mostly a localized problem and not something that's going to affect the national economy. This scenario envisions that consumer spending, supported by rising incomes and the recent decline in energy prices, will continue to grow near its trend rate, and that the drag on the economy from the most housing sectors will gradually diminish. The motor vehicle sector may already be showing signs of strengthening. After having cut production significantly in recent months in response to the rise in the inventory of unsold vehicles, automakers appear to have boosted the assembly rate a bit in November, and they have scheduled further increases for December. The effects of the housing correction on real economic activity are likely to persist into next year, as I've already noted. But the rate of decline in home construction should slow as the inventory of unsold new homes is gradually worked down. There's plenty of liquidity out there. He said he did not sense a lack of liquidity in the market. And he said we're monitoring the markets, but didn't really make any clues. So he went as far as he had to go, but not further. He also calmed the fears about the subprime market, which were rippling through Wall Street exactly. yesterday. And said, we're taking a look at it, but right now it doesn't seem to be an issue, but we're watching it, certainly. Let's, yeah, that's exactly right. So let's first take a listen to what... Ben Bernanke had to say about the economy. So we expect moderate growth going forward. We believe that if the housing uh, sector begins to stabilize um, and if some of the inventory corrections that are still going on in manufacturing uh, begin to be completed, that there's a reasonable possibility that we'll see some strengthening of the economy sometime during the middle of the year. He went on to talk about the subprime market. Another fear yesterday was that there would be contagion, but not in the eyes of Ben Bernanke. Our assessment is that uh, there's not much indication at this point that subprime mortgage issues have spread into uh, the broader mortgage market, which still seems to be healthy, um, and the lending uh, side of that still seems to be healthy. The pace of home sales seems likely to remain sluggish for a time partly as a result of some tightening in lending standards and the recent increase in mortgage interest rates. Sales should ultimately be supported by growth in income and employment, as well as by mortgage rates that, despite the recent increase, remain fairly low relative to historical norms. However, even if demand stabilizes as we expect, the pace of construction will probably fall somewhat further as builders work down the stocks of unsold new homes. Thus, declines in residential construction will likely continue to weigh on economic growth over coming quarters, 
although the magnitude of the drag on growth should diminish over time. The global economy continues to be strong. Supported by solid economic growth abroad, U.S. exports should expand further in coming quarters. Overall, the U.S. economy appears likely to expand at a moderate pace over the second half of 2007, with growth then strengthening a bit in 2008 to a rate close to the economy's underlying trend. Close that. All right, now the Federal Reserve has given $1 trillion out. $1 trillion in the past 12 months. That's how much the increase in its assets and liabilities as the balance sheet has, has been. Who got the money? This, by the way, is a question sent to me by Beatrice Delgado. She just wants to know who got the money. Will you tell me? So the, uh, most of the increase in our balance sheet has been the purchase of U.S. government securities and the purchase of agency uh, guaranteed securities in the open market from market participants broadly. And what about yeah, the rest? Do you know any of them? Can you name a single one? Uh, uh, sure. JPMC. Go ahead. What? J.P. Morgan Chase. Okay. Do you mind if we have a GAO audit to see whether it's been front-running or insider trading by them? Do you mind? Is that okay with you? No, I'm not sure I have any decision-making authority. Well, you're the general counsel. I want to know if you're going to try GAO, to stop it. Well, I guess we see who the real buffoons are, don't we?